Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome to your back to my channel. My name is Emma. If you're not already, you should definitely subscribe down below. So for this week's video, I thought I would switch it up a little bit. I've been doing a lot of vlogs recently. So I thought I would do what I spend in a week as a college student. Also, if you're new here, I'm currently a junior at the University of Scranton. I'm studying psychology. So basically I just kept track from Monday until Saturday, which is today. I just wanna preface that I am a college student, but I live on campus, so I don't really like pay rent. I pay rent through the form of tuition, but I'm not including that. Also, I do have a meal plan, but I will be including the like meal plan stuff. So without further ado, let's get started with Monday. Okay, Monday I ate breakfast here and then for lunch I got broccoli tartar soup and then I wanted to get a bag of goldfish. So this was just from one of the little like markets that we have on campus. In total, both of those were 5.38. I did use a meal swipe for that. Then I went to Starbucks in the afternoon and I got an iced chai with vanilla sweet cream cold foam and that was 5.75. And then for dinner, I got an eight count Chick-fil-A nuggets and fries. So that was 6.34 and I used a meal swipe for that. I'm pretty sure the meal swipes for lunch and dinner cover up to like 7.98. That's what I'm going with in this video. Like when I go to the dining hall and use a meal swipe, that's what I'm going to be counting it as. But you can also use a meal swipe in our little food court area. So that's how I got the chick fil -A. So now on to Tuesday. I went to Starbucks in the morning and I got an iced toasted white chocolate mocha, which is my favorite holiday drink. It is literally so good and that costs $5.25 then for lunch I got a caprese panini from the little pod market that we have the same place that I got the soup this is like my favorite sandwich from there it's like mozzarella tomato spinach and pesto mayo on like bread and then they Put in a little panini thing so that was 6.79 i used a meal swipe for that then i went to the dining hall for dinner so i'm just counting that as like 7.98 because that's what i think the meal swipe covers up to and then i did go to wegmans on tuesday night I meant to get footage from there, I meant to do like a little mini vlog, but I totally forgot. I went with my boyfriend Tommy and I just wanted to get some food for the upcoming week and next week, even though I am going home at the end of next week, I have finals next week so I wanted to get some prepared meals in case I didn't want to have to go out and like get lunch and dinner and stuff. I spent 66 dollars and 90 cents at Wegmans. Okay, and then moving on to Wednesday. So I went to Starbucks in the morning again. You'll see a pattern start to form here. And I got an iced caramel brulee latte, which is another one of my favorite of their holiday drinks. That was $5.45. I don't know what makes that 20 cents more expensive than the iced toasted white chocolate mocha, but you know, we'll never know. Then I had leftovers for lunch, so I didn't spend any money on that. I went to Starbucks again that day. Oh, this is embarrassing. And I got just an iced chai which was $5.45. I don't know why an iced chai is so expensive. Like why is it the same price as the holiday drinks? Because the holiday drinks are like new, so normally they upcharge for them, but why is an iced chai so expensive? I feel like there was a mistake on their part. For dinner, I got a burrito bowl from like this Mexican place that we have called Zoka and that cost $6.79. Next, moving on to Thursday. Again, in the morning, pretty sure you can guess where I went. Starbucks. I got an iced toasted white chocolate mocha. Again, it was $5.25 for lunch. I went to our bagel place that we have in one of the academic buildings it's called Einstein Rose Bagels. They have them like other places too. I got an everything bagel with butter and since I was using my lunch swipe but the bagels are only like a dollar, I decided to get a drink. So in total it was 418. Then for dinner I just went to the dining hall that night, so it was 7.98. Now on to Friday. I did not go to Starbucks in the morning because I had a meeting, but it, if I didn't have that meeting, I definitely would have gone. So the first purchase that we have is for lunch. I got pasta from our little food court area. I got just regular like cavatappi pasta with blush sauce and then mushroom spinach and garlic, I think, and then I got a breadstick. That total was $5.98. In the afternoon, I went to Starbucks 
again oh my gosh what a surprise and i got an iced strawberry acai refresher with lemonade if you have not tried this it is literally so good if you don't like coffee i feel like this is such a good drink so that was 445 a little cheaper than a lot of the other starbucks drinks but still not that cheap for dinner my roommate grace and i went to panera so i actually had a 10 dollars gift card so i used that but like i'm not i'm just gonna count it as all the same thing so the total was 14.98 so in reality i only had to pay about like five dollars because i had the gift card i got a you pick two with broccoli cheddar soup and the turkey and avocado blt and then i got a lemonade and their broccoli cheddar soup is literally so good like i know i had broccoli cheddar soup earlier in the week on monday but it did not come close to panera's and then saturday today this morning my roommate grace and i went to brunch at the dining hall so i used my meal site for that that was 7.98 i had an omelet it was so good they literally like make the omelets for you like made to order omelets in mine i got ham mushroom spinach tomatoes and american cheese and then i went to a little coffee shop with tommy and we sat there and did work i got a nice coffee which i think they forgot to put the flavor syrup in because it tasted horrible but i didn't want to like say anything but tommy paid for that because he also got a drink so i'm not including that but then later before we left i got a strawberry banana smoothie which was 5.35 the coffee just tasted really bad because there was no sweetener then after that we were walking around our little Little, like downtown area and we went in a bookstore and I saw this book that I wanted to get for my mom for Christmas so I'm not gonna like show it on the off chance that she's watching it I don't know if she's watching that was $15 and then the whole reason that we were like downtown anyway was because I was getting a manicure for like this green like balsamy color it has been three weeks since I got my nails done and I get gel so that is the reason that I had to get them done that was obviously pretty expensive it was $30 dollars and then i gave her a tip of six dollars total would be 44 dollars that is what i spend in a week the grand total is Give me a second i need to add this up i should have done this before why didn't i do this before we're gonna take a quick pause so i can add this up and then i'll reveal the grand total okay i'm back i just did the math on my calculator obviously because i'm not gonna like do it in my head so the grand total for what i spent in a week is drum roll please $237.23. Obviously, this is a lot more than I would probably spend in a normal week because I did go to Wegmans and I did get a manicure. A lot of it too was using my meal swipes and stuff. Like I didn't actually, I mean, obviously I pay for that money because I pay for it in tuition, but you know what I mean. So that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to follow all my social medias down below. Give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, so now it's time for the shout out. So this week's shout out goes to Julia Einfeld. Here you go, Julia. I hope you enjoy your shout out and I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Bye.